I am from Montebello, California, which is a suburb right outside of downtown Los Angeles. Most of our produce is shipped from hundreds of miles away, sometimes even thousands of miles. And by the time it actually gets to our plate, it's lost a lot of its nutrition. And to top it off, our community is saturated with fast food restaurants that are just continually contributing to the poor health of our community. And I should know, I worked at McDonald's. I started working for Ronald as a cashier at 16 years old. For a year and a half, I would watch our customers go through the drive through every day. This was at the height of the supersize phenomenon, and part of my job was to upsell the supersize to every customer. It was really hard to be a part of that, so eventually I had to quit. Since then, I've worked at at least 10 other restaurants, but it wasn't until my last two gigs at vegan restaurants when I really understood how food can positively affect our health. Working at plant-based restaurants was the first time I saw people walking out of a restaurant feeling better than they had when they walked in. For the last five years, I've been plant-based and it has completely changed my life. I feel stronger and healthier, and that's what I really want to see in Montebello and all these surrounding areas. When COVID hit, I was forced out of my job, but it gave me a lot of time to think about how I could serve my community. When I was a kid, my mom would drive me by these lots and I always thought, I think I should do something with that. For decades, these lots have been empty and have been used as homeless encampments, community dump areas. We've had even a fire here because of the excess of weeds. In 2020, I decided to apply for this land and create a community farm that would grow for and with the community. And so Poodle Plants was born. I think our biggest accomplishment at Poodle Plants has been our composting. Since we've opened, we've recovered over 60,000 pounds of plant material. If our community hadn't come together to create that compost, that 60,000 pounds would have gone to a landfill and turned into methane gas, which is extremely dangerous for the environment. We have now started filling our garden beds with compost and the results have been incredible. We're growing watermelon, eggplant, kale, different kinds of lettuce, carrots. I mean, the list goes on and on. We're open three hours a week for the community to drop off compost and for us to distribute produce back to the community. Everything is donation-based. I get so many people tell me that they started composting at home and growing their own food, and it makes me really excited for the future. The hardest part about opening Pudo Plant so far has been to basically get the government to understand us. We are currently in risk of losing our land because of expensive permits. For a while, Poodle Plants was doing a lot of community workshops. We had kids programs where we would teach the kids how to sow seeds and a little bit about composting. We were also doing gardening classes for seniors, but we put it all on pause for the moment while we work things out with the city. We're located under the Southern California Edison high voltage lines, and these lines run hundreds of miles through California. When I approached SCE about my plans, they were a little hesitant because these kinds of lands are usually reserved for nurseries. So the idea of growing food to distribute to the community was new to them, but they quickly warmed up. And with SCE being the second largest landowners in California, there is definitely potential for expansion. I wanna see every community grow their own food, and I know there are a lot of people being called to do the work. Pudo Plants is currently a quarter of an acre, but my dream is to expand to five acres to the north and to the south, because these lots are just empty, and I don't see why anyone would rather have empty lots than a space that's growing for and with our community.